Hi and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you how to set an NTP which is a network time protocol time server in your UDM Pro so that it's issued to all of your network devices and clients when they connect to your network via DHCP so that it sets the time server address to be synchronized with the same time server across all of your network devices. However, please note that if you have any devices on your network that use static IP addresses, then you will need to go into each device and set the time server address to be that of the one that we're going to be setting in the UDM Pro so that all of your devices clocks get synchronized via the same time server. Before we go into setting up this, I've searched the internet for a website that provides me with the IP addresses. Please note that you will need the IP addresses and not host names to be able to set this in your UDM Pro as it will not allow fully qualified domain names to be entered. It will only allow IP addresses to be entered. So I've managed to find this website which provides me with time servers in the UK and their corresponding IP addresses. Now you'll see here that there are Stratum 1 NTP servers and also Stratum 2 NTP time servers. Ideally, if you can, you should pick a Stratum 1 NTP time server as this has the more accurate synchronization than a Stratum 2 time servers as Stratum 2 time servers synchronize their time with a Stratum 1 server. So the Stratum 1 server are the highest available in the list for public use. However, I've tried these Stratum 1 NTP servers and they don't seem to connect to those. So I've moved down to Stratum 2 NTP time servers as you will see here and I've scrolled down in the list and I've managed to find three that actually work. You will need to search the internet yourself for local time servers in your country and which are more local to you. Um, obviously I can't go through every country giving you website addresses as it will take too long but I will provide the link in the description below to these time servers for the UK. I'm going to be using the time servers which have highlighted here and these are for Cambridge University and the first IP address I will be entering is 131.111.8.171 and then the secondary NTP server address will be 131.111.8.28. So the first thing to do is log into your Unify OS here I'm using a UDM Pro and once you're logged in you'll be presented with the Unify OS dashboard. So from that you will need to click the icon in the top right corner with the squares and then select network as you will see here. Once you have selected network you will be presented with your network dashboard as you will see here. And then once you've done that, you need to click on the left hand side, the cog, which is for settings. Once you have clicked on that, you will be presented with the network settings dashboard and it will be under Wi-Fi by default. So from there, you will need to select networks. And then once you have selected network, you will be presented with a list of all the networks that you have set up on your Unify network. Here you can see I've got guest VLAN, IoT VLAN, mainland and phones VLAN. I'll be going into each one and setting the IP addresses for the NTP time servers and I'll go through each one so you can hopefully get used to it and see how to enter the NTP server addresses. Firstly, I'll go back to the website and make a note of these IP addresses, copy and paste these IP addresses into Notepad so that I have them easily accessible. 
So let's go back to the Unify network, click on the first network, which is for guest VLAN. Once you've clicked on that, you will need to scroll down to DHCP service management, as you can see here, and click show options. Then scroll down the page a little further until you find DHCP NTP server. Here you will need to tick the box to enable it and then under NTP server 1 you will need to enter the first IP address of the NTP time server that we've copied and pasted and also the second NTP server IP address that we've also copied and pasted. So I'll go ahead copy and paste the first address and then in NTP server 2 I will go ahead and copy and paste the second IP address. As I mentioned before, you cannot use fully qualified domain names. You have to use IP addresses for some reason, which I'm not sure. Hopefully uh, Ubiquity will update this so that you can use fully qualified domain names. Once you've entered the IP addresses, you click apply changes, which will then take you back to the list of networks. So we will then select the second network down again under DHCP service management, click show options and then scroll down to DHCP NTP server, tick the enable box which will then bring up the NTP server 1 and NTP server 2 boxes and again we'll copy and paste the same IP addresses into those two NTP servers. Click apply changes which has then taken us back to the net list of networks again. Then the third network we need to do is mainland. Click DHCP service management, show options, scroll down to DHCP NTP server, tick enable and again paste the IP addresses for the NTP server. Paste it in into the second NTP server box, click apply changes and again it takes us back to the list of networks so we'll then configure the final network with its NTP server IP addresses. Again select DHCP service management and select show options. Scroll down to DHCP NTP server, tick the enable box and again copy and paste the IP addresses of the NTP service you are choosing. Click apply changes and that's it done. So that when any DHCP enabled client or device reconnects to your network, it should pick up the NTP type server addresses under the DHCP options. There are some devices which don't pick up NTP time servers using DHCP. For example, after I did research on the internet, I found out that devices using Android, such as smartphones or tablets, seem to be hard-coded with their own NTP time servers. So you might find that your Android devices don't pick up the NTP time server addresses you've entered on your Unify network settings. So now that we've done that, I'm going to show you how to change the time server on a Windows PC as my Windows PC has a static IP address. I will need to set this manually myself. So first you will need to go to the start menu and right click on it and then select run. Once you have selected run, a box should appear like you can see on the screen. And in the open field, you need to type time date dot C P L. No spaces and type it as you'll see here and then click OK. You will then be presented with the date and time as you will see here. So in order to change the time server to that of the time server set in the UDM Pro, you will need to click on internet time and then once you're in the internet time field as you will see here 
you need to click change settings which it will then bring up a secondary window saying configure internet time settings synchronize with an internet time server and at the moment I think by default it's showing as time.windows.com and I'm sure that's the default one unless you have changed it. We'll go back to our notepad and copy and paste the first time server IP address into the server box as you will see I'm doing here and then click update now and it should then synchronize itself with the new time server IP address that we've entered and as you will see it's now showing as time was successfully synchronized with 131.111.8.171 and we'll click OK which will then take us back to the time and date window and as you will see it's showing the clock was successfully synchronized so that's how you change the time server in your Windows PC. Once you're done click OK and that will save the settings. So that's how you set your time server IP addresses in your Unify network so that your clients pick this up via DHCP and also I've shown you how to set it in a Windows PC that has a static IP address. Obviously I can't show you how to set it in all static IP address devices as there are so many devices but I'm sure with help searching on the internet for your specific device you'll be able to set the time server IP addresses on each of your devices. Hope you enjoyed this video please keep subscribing hit the like button and hit the bell notification icon so that you get notified when I release further videos. Bye!